This is a pretty challenging question. It really requires that we understand exponents on a deep level. It seems straightforward enough. It's just asking if x and y are integers, which is bigger? Like if we draw x and y in the number line, we know that they're integers. Which one is to the right and which one is to the left? Right? What's the relative order of x and y on the number line? That's really all it's asking. Now, it shouldn't be too hard to see that statement one is not sufficient on its own because it just tells us that their sum is positive, but it doesn't give us any indication of the relative order of x and y. We could subtract y from both sides of the inequality and say that x is to the right of negative y, but we wanted to know which side of y is x on, not which side of negative y is x on. So uh, statement one is not sufficient on its own, and we can go ahead and eliminate the answer choices that claim that it is. So A and D are gone, and we're down to just B, C, and E. Let's evaluate statement two right after the intro. So I really do think statement two is very challenging. It's telling us that some exponent is negative. y to the power of x is negative. And importantly, we do know that x and y are both integers. That's important and I'll explain why in a moment. If y to the power of x is negative, one thing is for sure. y has to be negative. Because if y is zero, then y to the power of x would just be zero. And if y is positive, then y to the power of x would have to be positive. After all, there's no way to take a positive base and then multiply it times itself some magical number of times that will make it end up on the left side of zero. That can't happen. It would have to get a negative factor from somewhere to be thrown over to the other side of zero. So we are able to say then that uh, y is negative based on statement two. And because we know that x and y are both integers, we can also infer that x has to be an odd integer, because if x is an even integer, then y to the power of x would be positive. So y is negative, and since we know x is an integer, we can say it's an odd integer. Now that we know that y sits to the left of zero in the number line, and that x is some unknown odd integer, it really could be any odd integer on the number line, can we tell the relative order of x and y? No, x could be an odd integer to the right of y, or it could be an odd integer to the left of y. So statement two is not sufficient on its own either, and we can go ahead and eliminate b. Once we combine these statements, though, knowing that y is negative, and knowing that the sum of x and y is positive, we can infer that x must be positive. Because if x isn't positive, and we know that y is negative, then x plus y would be negative. So when we combine these statements, we do know that x is to the right of zero and that y is to the left of zero, and therefore we can answer the question definitively with a yes, x is greater than y, and therefore the correct answer here is c. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.